everybody today we are going to discuss thermodynamic system and its type now system is a selected part of universe for thermodynamic study i mean this is supposed to be the universe and this specific part is now selected for thermodynamic studies so this selected part is known as system and the rest of the part of universe other than system is said to be surrounding and the real or imaginary surface which separate system from surrounding is nothing but the boundary now on the basis of nature of boundary systems can be explained or can be categorized into three types so very first type of system is open system now open system is a system which can exchange matter as well as energy with its surrounding for example if any reaction is uh, conducted in an open vessel then no doubt matter as well as energy can be exchanged with its surrounding and that uh, system is said to be the open system now another type of system is closed system closed system is a type of system which is capable of exchanging only only energy with its surrounding but not matter remember closed system cannot exchange matter with its surrounding it can exchange only energy for example if any chemical reaction is carried out in closed vessel or sealed vessel then energy transformations can be expected why because system tend to exchange energy with its surrounding but matter remain inside the system i mean system that system cannot exchange matter with its surrounding and in case that system is closed system now third one is isolated system now isolated system is a system which is thermally insulated i mean this is a system which can exchange neither energy nor matter with its surrounding for example consider a thermos hot tea or coffee kept in a thermos now in case of thermos if thermos is supposed to be a system then its inner walls are thermally insulated that is no heat can enter or leave the system and no doubt uh, in case of sealed thermos matter cannot be also exchanged with its surrounding therefore hot tea or coffee kept in a thermos flask is one of the finest examples of isolated system now these three are the types of system on the basis of nature of boundary but another very crucial thing to be uh, considered is a phase now phase is a mechanically separable part of the system and whose composition is uniform throughout now depending upon the number of phases present in the system systems can also be categorized or classified into two varieties now very first type on the basis of number of phases is homo homogeneous system now homogeneous system is a system which consists of single phase throughout for example consider a glass full of water so water is a single phase in that system and therefore that is one of the finest examples of homogeneous system now another a type on the basis of this i mean on the basis of number of phases contained by the system is heterogeneous system now heterogeneous system consist of more than one phases in the system thus any system which consist of more than one 
phages is said to be heterogeneous system for example when two immiscible liquids come in contact with each other for example consider a vessel which contain a half water and half of the oil or kerosene in it so kerosene and water form two different two distinct phages therefore that system would be the heterogeneous system so these are the types of thermodynamic systems thank you very much